The mining sector is keen for some good news and the Mineral Resources Minister visited the Tautona mine near Johannesburg to see the reef boring technology firsthand. It will initially focus on old mined areas within the mine and then be expanded, which should get the gold bugs excited. The general view is that the gold mining industry is a sunset industry. If you do nothing, that's exactly what happens because you leave behind the shaft pillars, you also leave behind the support pillars and consequently a lot of area you've mined out, you leave behind. From a regulator's point of view, this is good news on a safety level. South African mine fatalities in the first quarter of 2016 are already higher than the 2015 quarter. It's really humbling. Where dr drastically we are reducing a chance of fatalities and injuries and getting to a machinery that has been developed locally, first and foremost, but a machinery that ca can actually begin to support each other thereby reducing fatalities and not losing the important fact that the very same technology also helps us to create more jobs than the conventional way. Sustainability is a major concern in the current commodity crisis. The secondary benefit is what you get to the communities and so on in terms of maintenance of those machines, repairing those machines, etc. That's where the tertiary benefits start to come in. Then there's the nuts and bolts, the bottom line that management and workers are measured against. It's still in project stage. We are piloting it at Tautona. We've been doing it for four or five years. We produced around 13,000 ounces of gold from that last time. We want to improve it over the next couple of years. South Africa's gold mining sector is probably going to get a shot in the arm with this new technology if it gets incorporated into those other marginal mines. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Carltonville.